So today we're going to talk about brakes. Uh, this isn't going to be like a how-to or an install video or anything. This is going to be just kind of a informative discussion, I guess you could call it, about different types of brakes, um, directional versus non-directional, conventional versus slotted versus drilled, um, just all kinds of different stuff. So it's basically just going to be a long-winded rant about different types and styles of brakes and how to tell the difference between directional style brakes and non-directional style brakes. So what I'll do is I'll get out a couple different types of rotors and stuff here and show you the difference and explain the difference between, you know, uh, slotted and drilled and conventional style and directional and non-directional types of rotors and brake systems. So here you can see we have a couple different brakes, um, brake rotors that is. Let me switch this one here. So we have two front rotors and one rear rotor. You can see that this is just your standard stock style rotor. This came off of Project Renegade, which is a Jeep Liberty. And these are what's going to be going on to Project Renegade. And you can see that they are cross-drilled and slotted. They're the same height and everything, same size, just uh, they have this black coating and they're slotted and drilled. And then these are the brakes for the rear and they match the front. What I want to show you and see in here, or if I can do this without blinding the camera, you can see that you have these veins or cooling fins inside here. They're called cooling veins, and they're inside of pretty much every rotor most of the time on the front. The rears are normally solid, and they just go straight. Like, well, this is an old rotor, so maybe I can make some marks here that you can see. If you can see those, they just go straight. Well, when it comes to slotted, rotors or drilled rotors people have a tendency to think that these are directional that they have to go a certain direction just because of the slots when uh, the truth is they don't unless they are an actual directional style rotor Let's see if i can do the same thing with this rotor as i did the other you can see that the cooling fins or cooling veins inside of this rotor are also straight. Um, it may look like there's some angles in there, but it's more of an illusion because there's more supports where these holes are drilled. So again, you may have these angled slots, but the cooling veins on the inside of the rotor are all going straight. That means that this rotor can go any direction that you wish. You can put it on whatever way you think looks best. It does not matter what direction these fins are facing if the cooling veins on the inside are straight because that makes it a non-directional rotor. Now, if your fins on the inside or your cooling veins on the inside of the rotor were angled, then it would be a directional rotor and you would have to have that on a certain side of the vehicle going a certain direction. You will see on a lot of these rotors, um, like this one in particular, this is the passenger side, and they do have it marked over here with the 53001WR. And the driver's side was exactly the same, except it was WL. So they are giving you a side to put it on, and um, the reason for that, and I'm not saying go against the instructions of whatever company you buy your products from. It's always best to follow the instructions. But if you don't have instructions with your rotors and you know for a fact that your cooling vanes are straight, put them on any way you want. And when someone says, hey, you have those on backwards, say, uh, no, you just don't know your rotors. Um, or, well, you know, be nice about it. The reason why companies will either say in their instructions or even go as far as printing it on the rotor to tell you what side to put these on 
is simply to free up their customer service. I have spoke with uh, Terraflex, the company that manufactures these, and asked all of them if they are actually a directional style rotor, if there was something else I was missing, and they said no. Um, they said that they put those on, both this company and Terraflex had the same answer. They had originally sold these kits and did not specify what direction they went or what side they go on, and they were flooded with calls, mainly Terraflex. They were flooded with calls with their big brake kit for the Jeep JK, like I have on Project Dirty Willy. Um, they were flooded with calls on what direction those rotors needed to go, and they were like, well, they don't have to go any direction because the cooling vanes are straight. They're a non-directional rotor. Yeah, the slots go in one way, but you can put those any direction that you want. So what they did was they started including an extra little slip of paper inside of those kits saying that this goes on this side, this goes on that side, and it avoids all of the phone calls. So hopefully this video wasn't too boring. Hopefully uh, you guys enjoyed a little bit of it and learned a thing or two about non-directional and directional style rotors. I know this wasn't, you know, a really in-depth video and this was not an install or a how-to video. If you came across this and you were looking for a how-to video on how to install your brakes, I've already done that. Uh, check that out on my channel or I'll leave a link to it or put an annotation somewhere for it so you can actually get to the video that you were looking for. So sorry if you came across this one and you were looking for a how-to video. But anyway, like I said, hopefully you enjoyed this. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Make sure to go into my channel, check out a couple other videos. If you find a video that you like, hit the like button. If you have something to say, leave it down in the comments. And if you find a couple videos that you like, don't forget to subscribe to my channel.